Quay Cooper, thanks very much for joining us. So we're going to see more of you with the gloves on, Quady? Yeah, I hope so. You know, I've, I've really enjoyed my time um, learning how to box and, and getting in the ring. It's a, a sport that you know, I've grown to love and you know, hopefully I'll get the opportunity to, to have another fight um, you know, sooner rather than later. But I'll continue to you know, keep up the training. I feel that it's you know, um, put me in good stead at the start of this season. Great. I enjoyed watching the fight last Friday night. I also enjoyed coming down and seeing you last Wednesday. And I can tell you what, you can punch. I gave you a few clean hits and, mate, my ribs are still hurting. That was just one little one. <laughs> then you took it I'm seriously. What are you wearing, Marta? I had a cricket uh, guard on. You don't hit as hard as Sonny Bill, though, but you connected more again in your fight the other night, mate. That was great. Well done. Did it help? You reckon the boxing, because I watched you in Toowoomba in that trial, did the boxing help your footwork? Because you're looking sharp on the field as well. Yeah, I think it helped my footwork. And you know, when I started boxing, um, you know, with the, the knee injury, you know, little things like skipping, you know, I wasn't able to skip. Just you know, the reaction... You know, speed of my, of my knee and my leg just felt a little bit weak and then by the end of the boxing just being able to skip you know 15 minutes straight and be able to do that comfortably I, I felt that that sort of helped with my knee rehab and you know, got me in a, a good position you know, leading into the start of the season and you know, also the footwork you know, with with the training for boxing um, you have to get in rhythm and you have to do a, a lot of footwork and, and coordination with your legs and, and upper body so I feel like I'm in a, in a good space um, uh, leading into the season from a footwork point of view and a fitness point of view as well. Quite from a from a team perspective, you know, playing New Zealand teams in trials, it's always a, it's always a good test to to test your breakdown. And you guys have played two New Zealand teams now. How have you found? How have the Reds gone? Have you have you had a good result at the breakdown against the New Zealand teams? And are you confident going into the first round that you had a, a great preparation against another Australian team? Yeah, I think oh, we're very confident. But I mean, like every every team at, at at this stage of the, the season is always confident coming off the back of a preseason. Uh, it's a time where you know, teams get to uh, get their players fit and healthy and you know, get a build up and, and a little bit of a run starting into the start of the season. So you know, we feel good and you know, that's the reason why we play against the, the New Zealand sides um, you know, in the preseason is to play against the, the teams who are a lot you know, more dominant at the breakdown and you know, it's going to be a tough challenge playing the Brumbies because that's an area you know, that they're obviously very solid. Quaid, I've got to ask you, um, you had an interesting year last year coming off your knee reconstruction. You got back, uh, got back into the Wallaby setup. You then made some comments on this show that put a few noses out of joint, cost you a bit of cash as well, and then you were injured towards the end of the year. How important for the career of Quade Cooper is 2013? Oh, yeah, it's, a, it's a very important year, but you know, like I'm, I'm not going to get clouded um, you know, in, in all that sort of stuff from, from the past. You know, like, um, I said a few things and you know, I also... Um, you know, I apologise for a few of the things that I said. Um, you know, there was a, a lot of emotions and stuff, up and downs. Um, you know, with a lot of things, you know, the way I was playing, um, you know, a, little, a few things behind the scenes. So uh, I'm not going to get too caught up in that and worry about the future. You know, I'm, I'm hoping that this year will be a, a positive year. Uh, it's been a, a great building block with the, the start of the season, you know, with the boxing getting fit and having a pre-season with the Reds boys. So, I'm really excited about you know, the opportunity of you know, gaining back my spot in, in the Wallabies and, and also you know, you know, what, what it is a, a big year ahead with the, the Lions. So um, you know, if I'm you know, fortunate enough to be able to put the gold jumper on and, and play again for the, for the Wallabies this year against the Lions, you know, then, then that'll be great. But again, you know, if I'm not selected for it, then you know, all I can do is, is play the best football I can and, and hopefully um, you know, be a part of the 2013 setup. Well, Quade, we can't wait to see you back in action for the Reds uh, on Saturday night against the Brumbies in Canberra. Maybe the first step to an outstanding year for you. Thanks very much for joining us on the first episode of Rugby HQ. Uh, cheers. Hopefully you have a good year as well. Yeah, good luck. Well done, mate.